Welcome to another video to help you pass your RECA test. To be clear, the information in this video aligns with the new RECA test format, so if you're preparing for your RECA subtest 1, 2, or 3, you have found the right place. This video is being brought to you by the California teachers at RECATest.com, which is the best resource to help you pass your RECA test. There's a lot of information to know to pass the RECA test, and the members of our free Facebook group often ask the test questions that they're unsure of. We've collected their questions and our answers and compiled them to help you prepare for the RECA test. Here are the most frequently asked and most important questions all about the new RECA test. Let's start from the top. What is the RECA test? The RECA test stands for Reading Instruction Competence Assessment. It is a test taken by California elementary school teachers and education specialists in order to obtain a teaching credential. This exam is administered by Pearson Education Incorporated. How difficult is the RECA test? Although this is a subjective question, we do have some statistics. According to the most recently published RECA test results, only 67.4% of examinees pass the RECA test on their first try. The point here is that a lot of people fail the RECA test, and it is definitely not a test to take without preparing for. By the way, did you know that first-year credentialed California elementary school teachers make more than $7,000 more than non-credentialed teachers? Our study guide and online course is well worth your investment of becoming a credentialed teacher. Next, who needs to take the RECA test? People who want to become elementary school teachers in California, People who complete the multiple subject teaching credential or educational specialists all need to take and pass the RECA test. Will the RECA test be removed? Although there has been some talk about removing the RECA test, the newest update is that the RECA test has been sectioned into three different separate tests. We call these subtests. As of this time, the RECA test will continue to be required for California elementary school teachers and specialists. How long do RECA test results take? If you take the RECA test in person at a designated Pearson testing center, results will come back within four weeks. If, however, you take the test remotely, the test results come back within three weeks. What happens if you can't pass the RECA? If you are unable to pass the RECA test, you will not be granted your preliminary California multiple subjects teaching credential. Who is exempt from taking the RECA test? People who have already completed their teaching program in another state, people who have obtained the teaching credential prior to October 1st, 1998, people who want to become middle and high school teachers, and people applying for emergency or internship teaching permits all do not have to take the RECA test. What is a passing score on the RECA test? Although the RECA test is now split into three subtests, the passing score is still 220. What score do I need to get in order to pass each RECA subtest? Although the RECA test is now split into three subtests and the passing score is 220 for the total of all three, for subtest one, you need to get a 70, subtest two, you need to get a 70, and subtest three, you need to get an 80 for a total of 220. How much does the RECA test cost? Each subtest costs $57, so that's a total of $171 for all three subtests. How can I prepare for the RECA test? If you're a visual learner, then we recommend our online course. If you're someone who likes to read to learn, we recommend our study guide. And if you're the type of person who needs to feel 100% confident on test day, there is no better product than our bundle package, which includes the complete RECA test study guide and online course all together. Is the RECA test multiple choice? All three of the RECA subtests are composed of a split of multiple choice questions and essay questions. The breakdown can be best seen using the following tables. For subtest one, which includes domain two and three, this has a total of 35 multiple choice questions and two essay questions. For subtest two, which includes domain four and domain five, this has a total of 
35 multiple choice questions, and two essay questions. And then there's subtest three, which includes only domain one, which has 25 multiple choice questions, but this also includes the case study question inside subtest three. What's the best way to prepare for the case study? In order to understand how to write a passing response for your case study question, we recommend first starting at www.recatest.com and then scrolling to the bottom where you'll find the blog post all about the RECA test. Start by reading that and watching the video. If you're looking for a more step-by-step -step instructional approach and an example of how to write a passing response for your case study, visit our test preparation products page at www.prepbright.thinkific.com where you'll find a single lesson course that guides you through the writing process for exactly how to write your case study. Now, it's important to note that our bundle package, which includes the study guide and online course, includes the single lesson within that bundle package. What are the five domains of the RECA test? Domain one is planning, organizing, and managing reading instruction based on ongoing assessment. Domain two is word analysis. Domain three is fluency. Domain four is vocabulary, academic language, and background knowledge. And domain five is comprehension. How many case studies are on the RECA test? Although the RECA test has what's known as short and long essays, which you'll find on subtest one and subtest two, it is only subtest three that has one case study question. When should I take the RECA test? People are allowed to take the RECA exam at any time. However, for purposes of planning to find a full-time teaching position, teachers will want to make sure that they have received a passing score before they graduate from their multiple subjects teaching credential program. What do I need to know to pass the RECA test? The RECA is a large test that is made up of a lot of bits of information. The exam is built to assess a teacher's understanding of providing effective reading instruction. So knowing all about teaching reading to elementary age students will be absolutely necessary. What is the RECA test video performance assessment? The most popular RECA test for teachers is the written test. However, the California Commission on Teacher Credentialing also accepts a video submission in place of taking the written exam. The CTC states, the RECA video performance assessment offers candidates the option of an evaluation based on actual classroom performance rather than a written examination. Candidates who choose the video performance assessment create and submit video recordings of themselves teaching reading. Can you take the RECA test online? Yes, you can now take the RECA test online. And to understand the details, please read our blog post titled, How to Take the RECA Test Remotely. Are there questions that we missed? Well, join our free Facebook group and ask them inside there. Thanks for watching everyone and make sure that you visit www.recatest.com for everything you need to know in order to pass the RECA test.